This video is going to be part one of a series where I totally revamp my studio. Everything from the molding to the paint, acoustic panels, and eventually even the display setup that's going to have not only monitors, but TVs as well. All right, so here's a basic look at my desk setup right now. This is the old one from that first video. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up in the upper right hand corner of the screen right here. If you wanna check that out. Right over here on this wall, I was able to sample some paint and I'm um, still kind of trying to figure out which paint I wanna go with, but I do know that right now I wanna go with a lighter gray. So in time lapse, I'm gonna get all of this gutted out and we're gonna do something a little bit more permanent because that was one of the major comments that I was receiving in that first video was that basically all I did was I took countertops and stacked them on top of drawers and you guys were absolutely right. So we're gonna be doing way better cable management and we're also going to be permanently fixing these countertops to the walls. So now I just gotta go through the walls and take out the uh, sheetrock inserts and spackle over and smooth everything out. And also take and gut all the molding out because I'm gonna be painting the molding as well. So we got all the countertops put in the middle of the room so that we can actually maneuver around the walls to paint. I'm here with Johnny from Tempter Enthusiast Gaming. Go ahead and check out his YouTube channel. Go, go over to his YouTube channel and say hi, subscribe, and like. We are pretty much ready to do the first coat of paint. We have spackling in all the holes in the walls. We vacuumed up all the cobwebs up in the, the corner of the ceilings. We put down drop cloth over everything, over the countertops, on the floors. The only thing left I have to do real quick is tape the windows and we're pretty much good to go. A quick status update. It's been a couple of days and I finally found a shade of gray that I actually like and that color is by PPG, it's called Flagstone PPG 1001-4. And we actually painted all of the molding. It used to be brown, you can see that it's white here. We actually have it set on the brackets where the countertops are going, just so that I could vacuum underneath and get it ready to be put in place. So basically we have to use the nail gun to nail the molding back into place behind where the desk is gonna go and we have to move the countertops back in place which we'll, we will be doing shortly. All right, so we got basically everything installed the countertops put onto the brackets. So we got the bookshelf here, we've got the wider countertop as the main area. I'm gonna be messing around with the flat screen TV in the back there which is going to actually give me some more room here because the TV's so big, it can't be closer to me, which is gonna actually provide me a lot of room here to, for a working area and to be able to use a wireless keyboard and mouse. And we have the thinner countertop here that was in that previous video as well. And I'm actually using less drawer units, which is gonna give me some more foot space. I was able to use these brackets here to kind of flush up the two countertops so they're kind of even. Now the neat thing is, is the original LED lighting, I have no problems hooking that back up. So if I were to go over here and flip this switch, boom, everything comes on. I've got like a UV light going, like a, like a purple UV light with the gray in the background. Aside from the two Carl B countertops and the Alex drawers, as well as the studio acoustic panels that will be shown in the next video, these were the other items that I used. This right here came in a 12 pack and this is by Neodrop. This will be linked in the description below. This is what made the 
mounting of the countertops to the studs on the walls possible. They come with two set, two types of screws. One's long to go into the studs and one's shorter to go into the bottom of the countertop so the screw doesn't stick through the countertop, which was nice. It came with those screws. It also came with these uh, plastic inserts. I didn't use them so I don't really know what they are. But uh, the other item I used to link the two countertops together so they don't move and shift over time are these brackets. The brackets are by High Ever, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it comes in three pieces and a bunch of screws to make screwing into the countertops possible. So again, all of these items will be listed in the description below to everything. Any questions, you can also drop a comment below and I will respond to it. In the next video, we're going to be going over the acoustic panels I chose, why I chose them, the installation process, the whole nine yards. If you like videos like this one and you found any value, go ahead and consider giving me a like on this video and also subscribe for the next videos that are coming up within this series. As always, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.